this channel and i have data that is showing that 70 uh about 25 percent guys have subscribed but 74 percent guys have not subscribed guys subscribe let's go 2000 guys um uh, by the time it's december guys you know let's get there so guys again welcome to girls for stem again one more time and i really really do appreciate you guys coming here all the time thank you let's dive into benefits of stem guys so guys please if you have questions uh comments please feel free to comment and things like that so um hang in uh use test right there comment you guys feel free so let's dive into guys what is stem I know we've been talking about it, but every time we go into other projects, programs, we need to remind ourselves what is STEM. STEM simply means science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And STEM is actually embedded in everything what, that we do, guys. You are sit, Where you are seated, right now we're using internet to discuss all this. So it's in a lot of things that I cannot even complete mentioning. So you can't say it's difficult because it's part of us it's already part of us we are right now doing it even if you're not looking on the screen look somewhere else you're going to see a stem activity either it's science either it's uh technology either it's uh medicine it's all stem but anyway so what does stem do stem unlocks the future economy when i say the future economy once we are innovating so i'll be giving examples of innovating once we innovate for example uh, transport from Africa to United States to United States to Asia takes how long, guys, before it used to take a much, much longer. But we innovate. And when we innovate to travel to those countries much quicker, guys, we are actually creating jobs, unlocking the future economy. When we create jobs, we also are able to pay people. We are able to employ people. So that's what STEM does. And also, it's expected that the STEM positions, they are going to grow about 9% guys, those that require a very good uh, background of STEM skills. And unlikely for these other careers, but the STEM careers guys are going to grow so much and they will need a lot of engineers. So that's one of the benefits. And the, uh, according to the US statistics, they are saying that about 21% 0.4% guys will be an increase in the STEM careers and we we'll need a lot of uh, millions of engineers, guys, that we're going to need. And that means we're going to have a lot of jobs, guys. But these other careers, they are not growing at the same pace like the way uh, STEM is growing, guys. So what is the other benefit of STEM? The other benefit of STEM is, guys, it makes you makes you a critical thinker where you think so deep and you also think logically so when you think logically that helps you innovate things because you're going to know okay if you are an electrician this care boy is supposed to go here and it's supposed to be blue and blue means so that's kind of thinking logically and when you have stem skills you think logically and you are also able to solve problems you are able to solve problems when you're just thrown into the ditch you are able to think quickly and that's what stem skills they provide those uh skills that you can think like that so what is the other thing guys that uh stem uh provide so as i mentioned earlier stem also it's a very lucrative career guys stem if you just check out i'll let it i'll leave it to you guys google up how much uh engineers get look at uh manufacturing look at uh scientists look at um uh doctors guys all these people construction people guys they get a lot of money guys it's very lucrative and that is why uh we should make sure we can enter into stem and that changes a lot of uh you know lives around people it changes families it changes uh you know those people that are around you know whoever is doing that stem and that's why we'd like to encourage a lot of people uh to pursue stem so the other thing is also uh stem also prepares um people especially young people to be part of uh the technology that is coming in future guys so when they pursue stem they prepare themselves to be able to enter these jobs so that's that's a good thing 
So uh, I'm going to also highlight those people that are, if you have questions, guys, you know, make sure you can ask questions. If you have, uh, you know, anything you want to ask, feel free as we continue. So let's see, that is my friend offloading that. <laughs> wow, thank you so much, Mapalo, for always coming. I really do appreciate. And that's Lewis. Yes, Viva Lewis, Viva uh, STEM. Yes, guys. So let's, moving on, guys. We are talking about um, when uh, young people pursue STEM, any age, guys, when they pursue STEM, they are able to enter those jobs that are very lucrative. They are able to uh, participate in the technology. And when they go into those jobs, guys, they are able to pick up right away and uh, get, if it's a computer, if they have to work, or the computer has to do some data. If you have to uh, do some work, physical hands that you're supposed to make, for example, you know, uh, some of us, we work for special missions where they have to make things by hand. Then you go check in the computer. You are so... Uh, Agile, meaning you are able to participate right away without thinking, I don't know, you are intimidated. STEM skills give you that opportunity, guys, to be very active, ready to go into uh, the job. And the other thing, as I mentioned earlier, STEM also helps you to be a, a very deep understanding of the world. Guys, now, because of STEM, let's think of it this way. Because of STEM, guys, we are able to get on this platform and you are watching me here, guys. What made you know that you can log in, you can tune in to Girls for STEM? What's making you do that if you think of it? It's STEM skills. You are learning STEM skills even if you're not educated in STEM, even if you're not an engineer, even if you're not uh, a scientist, but you've learned STEM skills that are helping you to get to another level. In United States and most other countries, guys, it's so difficult for you to maneuver around if you don't really get into technology. I'm not saying you can't do anything, but it's it, it's a little bit difficult for you to maneuver to do things because anywhere you go, uh, for example, here in United States, self-service check, guys, anywhere you go, you have to self-service check. You go there, you have to know you have to, how to punch in. Your, so a lot of those niches, what, how do we learn all those things? Those are STEM skills. But guess, guess what, guys? If you even go into, you become a scientist, an engineer, a technologist, all these guys, you are so rounded. You understand the world around you so deeply. And you are able to, to just do so many things. And it unlocks so many things that you can do, even in business, in um, a lot of things. And one other thing I always encourage people is YouTube. Guys, YouTube, a lot of people are making a lot of money. It doesn't cost you nothing. It doesn't mean you have to go to school to, to do YouTube. And there's a YouTube I always watch. Um, her name is Dim Wango. She was just in Zambia filming town center about two days ago, three days ago. Amazing. Guess who's watching this technology that she's bringing here in United States, thousands and thousands on her channel. Check her out. I'm selling her out, Dim Wango. So, you know, we're talking about technology. So that's how I now diverted to that. What does technology do to us, guys? It really empowers us. So the other one is um, it also allows you to work in teams, to network, to be able to interact with others. It's all also part of technology some people are born like that guys they can do anything they can interact they can socialize but stem skills also empowers you to be able to um do those things so the other thing also is um stem makes you more curious guys it makes you want to know what's happening what how did how how is this thing made what can i do about it you know, it helps you trying to understand a lot of things about your surrounding. It helps you figure out things because you are curious, you know. And the other thing, STEM gives you confidence. Now that you know stuff, because now, you know, it gives you that, um, that uh, knowledge of understanding your environment. So it gives you confidence, you know, to talk about things, to learn more. 
uh, STEM skills also gives you to read and understand a lot of things and also to just initiate change. It also uh, empowers you to initiate change. If you want to change something, if you want to improve something, it gives you that knowledge that you can change something. So those are the, uh, and that's just the tip of the iceberg that, uh, that I'm just discussing, guys, about STEM. STEM is a very powerful tool, guys. It's a very uh, lucrative, as we mentioned, it unlocks the, uh, the future of uh, tomorrow. The economy of a country, guys, changes because of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And then let me also touch, so why do we want more people in STEM? We want more people in STEM. Yes, we want more girls to pursue science, technology, engineering, and mathematics because very few women are in STEM today. But other than that, we want both male and female to pursue science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So guys, that's what I wanted to discuss with you today. I wanted to empower you to understand more about STEM, the benefits of STEM, and why we should be encouraging girls to pursue science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Um, you know, there are so many benefits, guys. And also, uh, some of the... Uh, benefits of STEM, it's also space exploration, guys. I've, I have a series that I'm doing on space explorations. I discussed about benefits of STEM space exploration, particularly in communications. Now, the second series, guys, I'm going to discuss about benefit of STEM in medicine and healthcare. So, guys, STEM just has brought us more good than harm. We are able to uh, do things quicker, efficiently, um, faster. There's just so many things that STEM unlocks. And that is why, guys, if we encourage young kids, even us to switch to go to STEM, that would be a, a plus for us. But other than that, guys, <clears throat> let's encourage girls to pursue science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and viva STEM. So guys, thank you so much for coming uh, to this channel. I really do appreciate, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. I was sharing the powerful benefits of STEM, guys. Let's encourage people around us. Let's talk about it, Grand, our grandkids, our young kids, our kids, our neighbor's kids. And you know, I've spoken to so many engineers on this channel that says, my neighbor said, or my auntie said, my father said guys that's all it needs and the reason um here to make sure we can keep talking about this is because so many people guys don't know that anyone can do stem and it has got nothing to do with money before people used to think that stem is only for the gifted and it's only for those that have money okay let's think of this this way are uh, all the engineers Elon Musk's? Number one, let's. I know Elon Musk's, you guys want to think he's so genius. All he has is the money. I know El Elon Musk can challenge me, he can come here and challenge me. He has the money. You have the money, guys, you can you know where to put it. You can just assemble seven, four, five engineers here. I need you guys to think and do something here. Guess what? they will do for you. They will do for you right away without even thinking. So all you need is the money. Even those people that are not engineers, but they are very tech savvy, guys, guess all you need is finances. You can still assemble engineers even if you're not an engineer. You can assemble engineers and ask them to do anything for you. They will produce it. Your vision is yours, but they can produce it. So I was just trying to say that, you know, not everyone has to be so, so special, so, so talented for them to pursue science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Because most people, you think, oh, engineering is not for my daughter. Or oh, engineering is not for my son. Why? Challenge me, guys. Let me know if that's what you think. That's not true. So anyone can pursue engineering. Anyone can do it. So again, I'm going back. So the most important thing is you can pass science. You can pass, uh, uh, you know, mathematics. 
which also other courses they require you to pass. Tell me a career that doesn't ask you to pass uh, mathematics or science. Tell me that, oh, they you can get a zero, they'll still take you. That's not true. So it's just that we don't just want to have the opportunity to put our kids there and they can do it, guys. So let's push for STEM guys, encourage girls uh, uh, to pursue STEM, encourage guys to pursue STEM. And I know sometimes some people say, oh, Kirsten, do we all have to be in STEM? Guess what, guys? The next future and the future generation, it's all about STEM. I'm sorry to say that. It will be all about STEM. But the earlier we prepare our generation, our young generation, that they should be thinking about STEM, the better. And the better they will be. So they will know it's very, very important that they can engage themselves into science. They can engage themselves into mathematics. And remember, mathematics is not that difficult, guys. I always say, I have a way of expressing it. All we are trying to solve in math is X. Remember that. We are just trying to find X because 2X plus 3X equals 5X. Either two oranges plus two oranges equals um, whatever that is. And the, the next step when we're trying to find X or what's happening to X, the next step is X will start changing, guys. If it was two, it will become three. So it starts changing. That goes into the, what they call mathematics differentiation and um, uh, derivatives. So there is nothing that is, that's happening. So you have to encourage yourselves like that. I always spoke to my son. I told him, I said, there is nothing so difficult about math. All is happening is we're trying to find X. After we find X, X is going to start changing. That's it. There is nothing to be worried about. He said, are you sure? I said, yes. Guess what? He's doing it. So I just want to say that it's the word that we guys uh, speak to our kids. It's the way that we guys speak to people around us. Even me, guys, I'm a testimony where my friend said, you used to be very good in math. I said, who, me? He said, they said, yes. I'm like, are you serious? I said, let me go try it. And it's true. Boom. So guys, I just want to encourage you. So let's read this one. How can we help people that think they aren't good at science and mathematics to pursue STEM? Yes. And this is what I was just addressing. Guys, so continue. If you have questions, let me know. I'll answer them right now. So what they have to understand is science and math is already with us. How? If they ask how, try them. When you go to the store, when you go with kids to the store, what do you do? You look for the cheapest price of the product. Then you look at how much you have and how much you're going to spend. There is nothing difficult about that. It's still X. Two eggs, X, plus uh, two onions. It, that's math. That's all about. If today the two eggs were $2 or two kwacha, tomorrow they are three kwacha, X just changed. So we need to convince them and say there is nothing so difficult about math. There is nothing difficult about science. Science is with us. You look outside, there is science. You look out, especially now, this is the time to encourage them because technology, which is math and science, guys, technology, it's out there. It's all just math and science. That's all it is. So it's not that hard. And the only way somebody can start working on math and science and start liking it it's when we share that it's not what they think it is you just have to be patient even if you don't do well today you have to try tomorrow guys i passed through that during my engineering career not everything was coming so good so i'm trying to share with everyone here with their kids it's not all the time that they they will be getting a's sometimes they don't so you have to tell them, you have to be at it, keep at it. Most of the engineers here that are watching, they'll tell you that, that it's not that easy. It's hard. The other time I was talking to a doctor, if you go guys and check it out, she says one of her challenges is just to keep up with work, workload. It's hard. Those hours you are seated on the chair, just trying to understand what it is. 
and not giving up. That's what engineering and science and technology is. You don't give up. You try to find out exactly. But some people give up and say, oh, no, I don't think I can do this. So that's one of the encouragement we can give uh, those that are trying to pursue science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, that you need to be determined. Um, a failure today is not that doesn't define you your tomorrow. And one exciting things about science and technology and engineering is failing. Did you know that, guys? I'm sorry to break that news to you. One of the exciting things about scientists and engineers is failing. Why? Guys, let me know if you, have, if you know the answer, why that is exciting. Let me give an example. You are going somewhere, and then you make a wrong turn. And then when you make that wrong turn, on your drawings or maybe on your instructions, it doesn't say you're going to find a blue hill. And then when you make that turn, you find a blue hill. A blue hill? No, there's no blue hill on my instructions. So, oh, so there's a blue hill here. Okay, next time, I'm not going to go here because I don't want to waste time because here, this turn goes to a blue hill. I mean, a blue ant hill or whatever, but it's blue. It's just imaginary. Guys, in science, we do imaginary equations. I hope you guys know. So we imagine things. It's good to imagine things because they solve, they solve problems. So when you turn to that uh, road, it takes you somewhere else. Are you going to turn again at the same place when going wherever you're going? That's it. You know that that turn is, is a wrong turn. That's exciting. Why is it exciting? It shortens your time of research. So next time you start again, you will know, I get to 500 feet, it's a wrong turn. So that is now documented in your books. And that's what I'm saying. Failure is exciting for scientists and engineers because that gives us details of what's going on. We know exactly that this is a no-go. So there's a go and no-go. So that's why um, knowing uh, what is there is very exciting. And that's failing. You go there, you fail. Because you, you didn't expect uh, that you were not supposed to go there. You made a mistake. Mistakes. So mistakes, we learn from mistakes. We uh, um, uh, investigate mistakes, how deep they are. We understand if there's any other loop there. So that's how we learn more from uh, uh, mistakes. So they are good for us, guys, for engineers. So that's why, guys, you are in math, science, you fail, you get up. You go investigate until finally you get it. You get it once once you get it, and that's all. So hope you guys um, enjoyed this discussion. Um, we've come to the end of uh, the show, guys. Hopefully, you can come again next weekend, guys. Every Saturday, guys, there is a, a, a STEM Hangout. Uh, we showcase uh, scientists, engineers who've navigated this sector. So come with your questions, guys. If you have questions, how you want to live this STEM life, because we have to live this STEM life, guys, whether you are in another career or not, because everything is connected to STEM. So, guys, thank you so much. I really do appreciate coming to the channel, guys. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do subscribe. And uh, see you next uh, Saturday, guys. And thank you so much. Uh, ciao, ciao, guys. Bye.